Ferris State beats Davenport University 38 to nothing. Coach Anise, what was the key to victory today? Well, <clears throat> first off, zero turnovers compared to uh, last weekend. So we went zero turnovers against Ashland, came back with seven against Saginaw Valley, and back to zero against Davenport. So, you know, taking care of the ball, obviously critically important. Um, penalty yardage was way down. Um, you know, sometimes you got to internalize the mistakes you're making and and really kind of own your own, own uh, circumstances like that from a coach's perspective, from a player's perspective, all of that. Um, the game, obviously, our defense, you know, dominated the game from start to finish. But from an offensive perspective, uh, the game was totally different than I anticipated. Um, AJ McEwen, who's their defensive coordinator, did a great job scheming us and, and basically just said they're going to have to throw the ball to beat us. And uh, we tried to run the ball early with uh, very little success. So it's probably one of our lowest outputs rushing the ball, 44 rushes for 143 yards. Um, that's not, nothing that we would be proud of under normal circumstances. But, um, you know, we were able to put it in the air, uh, highly successful. and and through for 332. So, you know, I tell our guys all the time, our offense is built to um, take what the defense gives you. And uh, today they gave us the pass. They played really thin um, in the secondary um, and, and played really strong in their box. And so we were able to, you know, make some big plays. The key possession, I thought, was scoring right before half again. We, we did that last weekend, too. And so that score was critically important. And uh, uh, but I thought our guys played hard. We got a lot of bodies that um, we need to get healthy and healthy soon. Um, but happy to be um, going on the road here, being uh, four and zero. Coach, shutout win today, and that's three out of the first four games. The defense has held the opponent under 20 points. Can you talk about the aggression the defense is showing every time, especially today, holding uh, Davenport's offense under 165 yards? Yeah, you know we're. Got a lot of experience there on the defensive front, um, and uh, obviously that helps. It kind of forces people to have to throw it a lot. We played a lot of different guys in the secondary today. I don't know how long AT played, but hardly any. Um, uh, you know, uh, a day uh, had to play. Um, you know, then then Sydney came out, and uh, you know it was just just a bunch of dudes out there. You know. Ravon had to play. Williamson played uh, very well today. And, uh, you know, um, we got some young guys that really have a lot of skill. Uh, KG played a lot today. So all in all, we had to play a lot of bodies because of uh, banged up guys. Hopefully we get everybody back uh, eventually here. But we also played shorthanded uh, with the old line. So Zane O'Bean B didn't play today. Adam Sealer didn't play today. And, and Tyler Shreve didn't play today. So it's hard to, you know, lose three like that. But uh, hopefully we're getting them all back um, soon. But uh, um, I just loved our fight completely, you know, both, uh, both sides of the ball. And special teams, obviously, was a lot better today as well. Coach, Cummings and Mitchell both played amazing today. Can you talk about the dynamic, having two quarterbacks kind of throwing off the opposing team's defense? Yeah, I, sometimes I just don't know who's going in. I tried to mix them pretty good. Um, you know, started Malik today. I thought he did really a lot of good things. Really proud of him. Um, he was 16 for four, uh, 16 for 24 passing um, for 194, one TD. Uh, it's great, great performance by him. And then Evan Cummins came in there and it was eight for 14 for 138 and uh, two TD passes. So both really good. Um, I thought Marcus Taylor. Uh, you know, he's he's got eight catches. He's doing a great job for us. Um, Tyrese had a great game in uh, size absence today, four catches for 81. So, you know, it was uh, the, the only guys that suffered today were running backs. They just didn't get a lot of yards because how they set their box. But we made a lot of key plays in the passing game. Tyrese, what was going through your mind on that trick play when you uh, scored to make it 28 to nothing? Uh, well, we've practiced that play a lot in practice, so it was nothing really going through my head but just to. Um, just to uh, get in the end zone. And Marcus made a great block for me, if anybody's seen that. So just give it up to my teammates for um, trusting me and, and allowing me to make the play for them.
Liam, a shutout victory today. Defense, you guys were in control the entire game. Can you talk about the intensity you guys were showing the entire game? Um, we've been shooting for a goose egg for a while. It's finally uh, nice to get one. Um, everybody up front played phenomenal. I thought the defensive backs played, uh, you know, just as well. Um, John and I had a lot of opportunities to make a lot of tackles, and uh, we, you know, we put them away when we had the opportunity. Liam, Coach Nice brought up the fact that you guys had to play a lot of guys on defense, but it didn't really seem like the intensity dropped. How important is it to know that now you have so many guys that can come out there and put on a defensive performance like that? Yeah, for sure. I mean. We practice a lot of guys. Um, we, we work a lot of young guys. You know, it doesn't matter the age. Um, there's love everywhere. Everyone's rooting for each other. Um, there's development from the moment you get here when you're a freshman to, you know, for some people, seven years or whatever it may be. Um, but it's nice to be able to look at, you know, to your left or to your right, and it doesn't matter who it is. You know that you're going to get the best from that person. Tyrese, all four games of offense have scored 35 plus points. Can you talk about the chemistry even just early this in, in the season for the offense? Uh, yeah, I get that up to the coaches. Um, they're big on um, love and support here. So, like, I feel like the offense, we just want everybody to be great. And whoever it is, they just want you to be great. And that's, that's really good. So, yeah. Liam, what is it going to take for the defense to keep this high energy of level of play the next few weeks? practice. I mean, everything starts at practice and uh, just focus on everything that we can do as far as playing your gap and doing your job and, and uh, everything will work out this, the same way. Thank you both for your time. Congratulations on the win. That'll be all for the post-game press conference. Back to Rob Bentley.